Hey everybody, uh, I'm just going to quick show you how to tune your guitar so you're all nice and tuned up and ready to go when you're going to be playing. So, we got six strings on the guitar and I got them all nice here and out of tune. So we have the E string, we have the A string, the D string, the G string, the B string, and the E string. So we got E's on both ends. They should be the same, just a couple octave uh, uh, displaced. So. When you're tuning your guitar, you're going to want to have a tuner or a tuner app on your phone or something like that. That's what I've got right here. You can see as I'm talking, it's trying to pick up what note I am saying and whether I'm in tune or not. So you're going to use this and you can see that there's a little, the little dial there is going back and forth. That's showing you whether you're in tune or not. So when you're going to be tuning your guitar, you're going to use the pegs up here on the top. This is what we use to tune it. So you're going to start with this one here that's hooked to the E string. I like to go from bottom to top. You can do it in whatever order you want, but bottom to top seems to make the most sense for me. So you pluck your string to see how you're doing. So like right now, if I pluck my string, you can see that it's all over the place. It's actually in between E and E flat. So we want to bring it up in pitch just a little bit. So I'm going to very slowly and pretty firmly um, start to twist my peg as I am playing my E string. I'm going to take a look down at my tuner, have the guitar nice and close. I'm going to stop talking so the tuner, stop, or tuner stops picking up my voice. There, I got it pretty close to the middle watch right in the middle there so the uh, important thing if you go too far if you go sharp so you're sharp and the note is too high don't just try to very really slowly bring the pitch back down to where it needs to be because that's gonna leave the string with a little bit of slack and then you're just gonna go flat out again anyway you're gonna want to always approach the note from the bottom so you're gonna want to have it loose and then tighten to get to the note so if I go all the way up to like uh, an E sharp, which would be an F, then I would just loosen it all the way back down to um, E flat again and start to work my way up. So if you go too far, realize that you're going to have to go back and try again. So I'm going to tune all the rest of the strings here. So I have the A, D, G, B, and A string that, or no, E at the end, sorry, that I'm going to tune up here um, just so you can see kind of how it's done. These last three, I'm going to bring it over here so you can kind of see what I'm doing with the pegs over here. So I'm going to move this down here. Pretty good. So now that I've done that, keep in mind that as you play, if you play for like an hour or something like that, especially if you play for that long, but if you're playing for a while, um, your guitar is going to go out of tune again. And if it sits for a while, if you like let it sit overnight and then you go back to play it, it probably is going to be out of tune again. So keep in mind that every time you are going to start playing it, you're going to want to tune your guitar so it sounds nice and good. Um, right now, the strings, when you pluck them all, just all by themselves. It doesn't really sound like too much. Um, there's a series of thirds and fourths that we use to actually tune them by ear um, once your, uh, your ear is skilled enough to be able to hear that. So from an E 
lot of times people will just the E to A, they'll use that to tune the um, tune the guitar. They'll memorize what that sounds like. So they'll have the E, the low E, and then they'll do, and then they'll be able to hear when that's in tune. And then they'll move on once they have that one, and they'll do the next two, and then they'll go on and do the next two using the string that you tuned at the beginning to um, tune the rest of the strings. That's like the way to do it without even needing a tuner. If you use a piano to just tune this note, then you can by ear do the rest of the strings. Uh, but right now, especially for those who are beginners and we don't have our trained ears too much, I would really highly recommend just downloading a tuner app. This one is called Tuner Lite. Um, all you gotta do is uh, click it open and then click on the little Thing that looks kind of like a weird fork right here the tuning fork and then it'll start to pick up your uh guitar and your voice as you talk and you tune the guitar to each of the strings names so that's how you tune a guitar um look on to the next lesson to see how we're going to do e minor and we're going to play that chord